Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a closer look at the Fear of God track pants. So I did get these from Mr. Porter, as you can see from this box here. Opening it up, we've just got the standard packaging and then of course the pants inside. Mr. Porter retailed these for £720. I did see them on a number of other websites like Stylebot for I think it was £650. But generally speaking, you're not going to find them less than £600, £650, which is quite a lot for track bottoms. But then again, if you are into high fashion and you like seeing this type of things, these are the kind of prices you're going to be experiencing and looking at because that's just how the market is. These are from the Fear of God 5th collection, as we can see from the inside label. And if you wanted to know about the materials, we can see from here that there's a mix of polyester, silk and cotton. Feeling them now, they do feel kind of stretchy, so it'll be interesting to see how these do fit on body. I haven't worn these before, and I think these are a me size medium. So yeah, these are a medium. I've told you guys before, I am like 5'11", weigh about 80 kg right now. You can use those measurements and kind of look at how it fits on my body as well, if you want to kind of gauge what size you will be. So do look out for the fit clips, which I'll put on in a minute. I'll just talk a bit more about the features on the track pants before I do that though. So you've obviously got these metal zippers here both sides you've got the drawstrings which are really really long on these so if you aren't a fan of long drawstrings then i wouldn't really recommend buying these because these drawstrings are like the longest ones i've seen on a pair of track pants moving down we've got more zippers at the bottom of the track pants on the back here we've got two more pockets no zips though just open pockets and then you've got this kind of stitched panel effect as well which i think is really nice that's on both sides and then of course you've got the white stripe going down either leg so I think the main thing on these track bottoms is just gonna be how they fit and we can look into that right now. So after putting the track bottoms on, I have to say I was really impressed with the quality, just how they felt and how they looked. My only issue was the sizing. So as I did mention, these are a medium. My waist is a 32, so that should fit a medium, but my legs are bigger than the normal person of that waist size. So what happens is, as you would have seen if you watched the D squared video, when I do get the correct waist size, they're really tight and they kind of start falling off my waist as well. I would potentially go up to a size L, but the only issue with that is the length. And when I size up, the length's gonna get longer and it's almost gonna be too too long so I'm not actually sure what I'm gonna do with this pair if you do have a slimmer build um, I do think they'll suit you a lot better because I don't think they're supposed to be as tight as they look on me um, like don't get me wrong I still love how they look love how they feel but I think it's just a little too tight and I prefer it if it was I mean they are track bottom so I prefer a more loose and more relaxed fit but yeah if you are of a similar size and your legs are a bit smaller medium will be fine they do have a guide on their website as well so do have a look at that if you are interested in buying them but yeah guys that sums up what I wanted to show you on the fear of god bottoms do stay tuned for future content because I will be doing a real versus fake guide on the fear of god pants and I'll also be doing an affordable alternatives video as well comparing them against these here which as you can see are very similar. So they basically modeled these off the Fear of God pants. They aren't really fakes as such, although they have kind of copied the whole design, but um, it just offers you an affordable alternative to the Fear of God pants instead of trying to buy fake pairs. But as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button, leave any questions you have in the comments below. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace.